guys, I'm Jess and today on Pop, I'm coming at you with another tutorial slash trying out one of the quads from the Wet n Wild Flights of Fancy collection. Once again, don't know the name of this one, but it is the burgundy and gold one. I thought it would go well with my outfit, which is like this. And we are just going to get started. I do have my whole face done. Today for my blush, I use this one from Model Co. It is in Cosmopolitan. I love this blush. And then for highlight, I use Mary Luminizer from The Bomb. Best highlight ever. I've hit major pan on it and I absolutely love it. I already have an idea of what I'm going to do. Unlike last time, I didn't have an idea at all. This is the idea on the back. I'm not going to do that though. I'm going to do something else. This is what the colors look like. For the first color I'm going to use is going to be the transition shade. I'm going to use that in the crease. So I'm just going to take a fluffy blending brush going in the crease. Oh, that knocked up a lot. Can you see? I barely put it in there and it knocked up, oh my God, a lot. I'm definitely tapping off. I've already put a primer on my lids too. This color almost like goes into my skin tone. Hits my skin, but better. <laughs> I'm also just gonna take that on the lower lash line just to kind of connect everything and blend it all together. This color is not showing up that well on my skin, if you can't tell. Like, I think it's almost the same exact color as my skin. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm gonna keep that handy. And next, a little, I'll use this angled brush from e.l.f. I'm gonna go in with the burgundy shade right here. And it is like kind of shimmery, satiny. And I'm just gonna put that on my inner corner, or I'm just gonna put that on my outer corner right here. What the hell? I'm literally picking up nothing. Well, this kind of sucks. It's barely picking up any color. I wonder if I should... Even, even using my finger now, it's not picking up any color whatsoever. Well, that's making me mad. I'm having really bad luck with these palettes. Like, really bad luck. So I guess I'm just gonna try to build this color up. Even though I'm getting like absolutely nothing. It's really not kicking up anything. So if I, I think if I was gonna go with a burgundy color, I would just use the Lime Crime Venus XL palette. I'm having to work a lot just to get a little bit of pigment on the eye, and it's not even as pigmented as I kinda want it to be. It's weird because their other palette, this one, the Rose in the Air, has the same color almost, but it's matte, and it works really well. And this one, I'm not getting anything. Really, like it took me a long time just to get that. So now I'm gonna go back with that fluffy brush and go with a transition shade and I'm going to blend this out. Or at least try to make it look a little softer. Okay, now for the fun part. I'm gonna use the gold eyeliner that came in this. Um, it's called Gilded Wings, and I'm gonna put that all over my lid, and then I'm gonna put that gold on top. I'm just gonna take my finger and blend it. Mm. 
Now I'm gonna take the crease shade, which is this one. It's like a really pretty gold. And I'm just gonna use my finger and plop it on top. And now I'm just going in with a crease brush or a contour brush from e.l.f. And I'm just going to get into that shade again to get into like the inner corner and also to blend out that kind of dramatic crease I have going on. I don't want it to look that dramatic. You could easily do a cut crease though with this method. Now I'm gonna go in with a brow bone shade right here. I just taken a little tiny brush and I'm gonna pop that on the inner corner. Now I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush and go in the same shade and highlight my brow bone there. So far, I like it. Now I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner from Kat Von D and Trooper and I'm just gonna line the top. Next, I'm gonna take some mascara. This is Essence Lash Princess. It's the pink one. I'm gonna coat my lashes top and bottom. This mascara is starting to get low. I'm kind of sad. I love this lip gloss, so I'm just gonna put this back on. It is featherless from the collection as well. It's just such a good nude. My final thoughts on this palette is, you obviously know I'm not like super happy about how the burgundy did on the eye. Like it didn't, it's not super pigmented on the eye. The swatch was super pigmented, but apparently on the eye it was not. It was kind of really disappointing. And I feel like that's kind of ha how most of these have gone so far. Like when you swatch them, they're super pigmented. But when you put them in your eye, it's like either patchy or it just like doesn't stay and it gets all over the place. The gold was really good and using the liner base is an awesome idea because it just gives us something to attach to and also it's like already got gold underneath so you're just like boom gold in your face and I think that turned out really really well. Um, the brow bone color is good. The transition shade is okay. It's like kind of the same color as my skin tone. Not gonna lie I couldn't really see it but I used it to blend out some things and that worked pretty well. So that is my thoughts on this palette. If you guys picked up this palette, let me know your guys' comments and thoughts down below. That is the look. I hope you guys like it. If you do like it, make sure and give this video a big thumbs up. That really helps out my channel. And also while you're down there, hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. You can find me here on social media. And check back every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday for new videos. And click that button below to subscribe. Bye guys.